It is 813 right now. A group of local painters is headed to the nation's capital. Not just any painters. They decorate plates. They're amazing. And they're really, really fancy. Indiana chapter of the World Organization of China Painters. Emily Kinzer got a chance to talk with them. Uh, their work is going at the, to the vice president's residence. Yeah. They're excited about that. They're so excited. I wish I had just like this much of their skill, <laughs> but not many artists can say they have their name on the back of uh, a plate that the vice president and other dignitaries will use. The Indiana World Organization of China Painters. That's who they're called. They were tasked with a project of painting 100 plates, each one featuring a state flower. Take a listen. Painting is very relaxing. I'm just placing the flowers where I want them to go. The Inside the art sanctuary in Martinsville. Gold does not start out gold looking. These artists are busy painting. Yes, it's not something that you can do in one day. They're not working on an ordinary project. And it was uh, kind of scary. <laughs> That's all I can say. Do you, you try to do your best and it comes out the way it comes out. These plates featuring every state flower will soon become part of history. It's going to be there in the vice president's residence forever, and it just is exciting. It's got my name on it. <laughs> I don't think any of us, n never in a million years, when we picked up that first paintbrush and painted, ever considered. It's beyond our imagination. With each stroke of the paintbrush. Very excited and proud. Each artist hopes their flower turns out perfect. It's always a surprise when you open the kiln. It may be great, and then again, we may have to fix it. throw it away or fix it. Because after all, this isn't an ordinary project. There's not a lot of artists that can say that they have something uh, permanently in a collection in the nation's capital. These plates will be on display for the public to see March 16th and 17th inside the Art Sanctuary in Martinsville. And then the group will go to D.C. the big days, April 23rd, for a coffee reception at the vice president's home. This, so. this didn't just happen. The Pences know their work. Yes, they do. This dates back a while, all the way back to the O'Bannon administration. Mm -hmm. These same people painted for that administration. Well, when the Pence family got in, they loved that China so much that um, First Lady Pence at the time reached out to them and said, hey, who does this? They're like, us, we do it. <laughs> so she had them paint 150 presentation bowls for her oh, cool. First Lady's Charitable Foundation. So then it was only fitting when they went to the White House, the China painters reached out to them and said, hey, do you want us to do this? And then they decided, well, what can we do? It's a national gift. So that's why they chose every state flower. So. Art delivered on a platter. Yeah, you know? I'd, exactly. I'd say, can I have a paper plate? Because I don't want to eat off this. It's too pretty. I'd just Perfectly put that on safe. top. Perfectly safe once it's all fired. And it's paint, fire, paint, fire. It's like durable said, at that point. It doesn't just happen don't drop it. Well, there's that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't guard against me. Exactly. Who knows who'll be eating off of those. Yeah, mm -hmm. Emily, thank you. Yep. It is eight.